good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Dima, sad music! Megan the Stallion is a very interesting person. She's a caricature at best. And she really believes that uh, people are really concerned about her. People are really worried about her. That uh, men are really intimidated about her. This is something that she tells herself, um, you know, when no one else is watching and <laughs> quite frankly, no one gives a fuck, but this is where she's at, okay? And it's sad because so many people in America actually believe that they're greater than what they really are only to find out that people just don't care. But Megan Thee Stallion does have a lot of fans that are women. And she, in her latest interview, she talked about that with the company called The Evening Standard, okay? And I'm gonna deal with just this quote and I'm gonna come back and talk about this. Day music! When you're a woman who's not a threat, men don't really bother you. Men that men like that damsel in distress type of role, and that's not me. I feel like that's what kind of gets under a lot of men's skin. Like, how dare she talk about her vagina? She loves herself, and she don't need me, and she's going to take my money. I just feel like I make a lot of them uncomfortable, and I feel like that's my job. Aww. Can I get an aww sound effect? Aww. Okay. Now, in her appearance... Okay, because guys, stop the show. She's going to really make this asinine statement. But I want you guys to not laugh so hard and um, try to stay conscious when I read this. Sad music! You can't stop looking the other way because you like what you see and you hate that you like what you see. Can I get a stop the cap? Sound of it. Stop the cap. Sad music! That's why you hate it. That's why you're going through all these emotions and you're lashing out on me. So I'm not even mad at these men. They're emotionally ignorant. Once they come to grips with who they are, maybe they'll grow up. Meg Thee Stallion, I mean, you're another person who's um very Tasha Kaish in uh, your perspective. Because making me feel uncomfortable is your job. You're fired. Because they're ignorant, is what you're saying. This is the, the situation that many women feel, not all, but there are definitely some, I feel like there is a competition between them and men in America. And that competition is only in your mind, okay? You're not competing against any man in the hip hop industry. No guy is gonna say, for the most part, Meg Thee Stallion is my favorite rapper. You're not competing with any guy in hip hop, all right? You're not competing with any guy in the music industry. You're in a genre all by yourself. You're probably competing with, you know, Cardi B, um, maybe in certain elements, Lizzo for the kind of music you make, but you're not competing against anybody. If anything, you're competing with yourself, okay? But this is the problem with a lot of stuff in American society. Some women feel like they're competing with men. And the reality is that at the end of the day, the only person who loses with this sort of mindset are the people themselves, okay? Men and women are not to be at competition with each other. There are many things that men do better than women. There are many things that women do better than men. They're just genetically what is the case, okay? However, um, being in competition with men is not one of them. But the real reason that you feel like you want to make men feel uncomfortable is because you want to sexually exploit yourself. Now, if that's what you want to do, talking about yourself and music and what you want to do sexually and things, and if men feel uncomfortable, it's not about competing. Men feel uncomfortable about that because those men actually care about women. And I want you guys to understand what I'm saying. A lot of times, women feel like when women are doing whatever they want to do, and then something happened, like the Tory Lane incident with Megan Thee Stallion, 
all right i'm just using this as a parameter of what i'm talking about the reality was is that megan the stallion was out here saying this sad music oh my god gunshots please are you not protecting black women why don't you protect black women nobody protecting black women but then remember the statement you it's your job to make men feel uncomfortable but when that happened to you by tory lane you wanted the same protection from those same men that you want to make them feel uncomfortable that's what it sounds like right and the reality is those men that are you know have an issue with you sexualizing yourself is because those men care about black women see the protection of, uh, of black women goes one or two ways you can only protect black women when they want you to protect them you know like if something bad happens to them then if something bad happens to them that's grotesque and i'm not saying this is all women but in megan the stallion's case i believe this is accurate then once the choices that she's made could come back to be befall her right she'll want your protection now in this case of tory lane's that wasn't her fault if, if what she's saying is true happened he's just crazy but she wants somebody to protect her right now we can't be the ones to tell you that you know what tory lane's a bad guy you should never even deal with a crazy guy like that no because we can't tell you what to do um you're openly doing what you want to do you know you're talking about your vagina and all that and so if you attract somebody like him and something happens to you then it's something that you know we should stay out of until something happens to you now at that point it's why don't you protect black women but let me kind of take it a step further if i may okay because this is really what the same this is what's really important black women like meg the stallion okay don't want to take any sort of advice any sort of correction from men at all because you have some fame and you have uh something scorned for you you feel like you're better than the same men that you ultimately want to protect you when bad things go wrong and the reality is is that the men that care about black women in their community they don't want to see their women portrayed like that so the reason why guys are even commenting on the sexual the sexualization of the stuff that you do how you sexualize yourself through your music with you know you cardi b lizzo is because they do have sisters remember that mamas remember that you know you're, you you know your mama's a black woman okay so then when you go out there and start to say that they figure like wait wait a minute you're going to influence the next generation of young black women who want to try to be like you so we we have a problem with what you're saying because we don't want uh, our sisters to be looked at like they're looking at you so could you not do that so much all right but when you do that then it's a problem it's now those guys are jealous now those guys are hating and it's just ridiculous because damned if you do and damned if you don't but guys what do you think it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity john i really appreciate you for all that you do subscribe with the bell check out the first company at the top and as you know the buffoon remains at an all-time high i'm <laughs>